What makes a perfect day on the Camino? To be honest, we aren't really sure. All we know is that this day was as close to perfect as we've had so far. Good morning. It's day 22 of our Camino de Santiago. We are leaving Astorga at 6.30 in the morning on our way to Fonce Bedon. We think today will be 26 or 27 kilometers and um, we are leaving the Meseta behind and entering the hills. Looks like a partially old church, the Ermita. Something. Ermita must be country church or something like that. All right, we're leaving Valdeviejas. We kind of had hopes to eat Valdeviejas, but we didn't see anything, so on to the next town, which is only two kilometers away. 260.5. Molly's noticed that that little red Templar cross has been spray painted on a lot of things. It does kind of add a little character to it, but we don't know why it's there. I mean, we understand that the Templars were in this area. But why, um, you know, 600 years later, they're spray painting that on things. Don't know. We're coming up on four kilometers. Getting to a few houses here. So we're definitely hoping for breakfast in this next village. We are approaching the town of Murias de Rechivaldo. I'm hoping that Murias de Rechivaldo has some breakfast. Thank you, Las Aguedas Albergue. You look like you're open. Looks like a good development. People in there having coffees. It's a view into the bunk room there. Bye. Bye. Camino. We stopped in this albergue. They gave us breakfast. Thank you. We just had our breakfast for four euros. The truth is I've never been so happy for a burnt piece of toast and bad coffee in my life. And it was nice because we talked to that nice Swiss couple and learned about their Camino experience, which this is their fourth time on the Camino. And this time they're only doing their favorite stages. And today was one of them. So that's always a good sign. Some gray clouds up ahead. We're hoping they blow over. There's mountains up there. I think we'll be able to see them later. I think we'll be in them later. The next few days look like the weather's kind of iffy. A real slow, steady uphill for a little while. And this is kind of our view right now. We have walked eight kilometers. Why can we know? Eight lovely, cool, non-sunny, non-rainy, non-rocky kilometers today. These may be the best eight we've had, the whole Camino. Uh, I think there's a little town coming up that we hear is, is a nice one. Just in case anyone cared. Uh, I won. We are very much, well, yes, Molly won the cat thing. We're getting a cat when we get home. I'm very excited. Yep. Look at that. Sky is opening up. Sky is finally open. The rain and wind stop blowing. Buen Camino. We are at Santa Catalina de Samota. We hear good things about this town from the Swiss couple we had breakfast with. We've walked 8.6 today and I can't remember an 8.6 on the whole trail that had better footing than this. Oh, hallelujah, look at that. It's just one bar after another. 
Molly's up there. She's going to go catch Jennifer and Gavin and just let them know where we are. Wow. How lovely. Beautiful town. Look, that's the public school right there from 1905. Just left Santa Catalina and look at the scenery. Our hearts are filled with joy. Stone wall, my favorite. Mountains, my favorite. Not hot. Trail not too rocky. Yay. Ah. Today's gonna be a great day. Well, it already has been so far. We've gone 9.3 kilometers. Rained last night. Yeah, it's been raining a few nights. So, she made it. Let's see if I can be as successful. Our feet are still dry. Wasn't even very challenging, that one. I have a feeling in the next few days, though, we'll be challenged more than that to stay dry. We are just talking with some Spanish ladies who, uh, it was two ladies, they've done the Camino Frances over, four, over in pieces over four years. And the last piece they have left is Astorga to Saria. I think that maybe they left that piece on purpose to do last because it sounds like that this may be a lot of people's favorite stretch so we've done nine kilometers of this stretch so far and I can see why now to the mountains we cannot wait I feel like we're there already just because we can see them green hat oh cat 48 48 cats you know I think Molly really is hoping to reach 100 on the cat count. We're at 48, it's day 22. We're gonna really need to pick up the pace because we only have 32 days. Although Galicia had a lot of cats, so. So 48 and 49 right here. 48! Lovely, it's been a nice uh, day to welcome us to the last third of the Camino because the weather's perfect. Uh, the villages have been perfect. The village we are approaching at 12.7 is El Ganso. Yeah, a lot of Templars. The, all day today we've been seeing these Templar, these red Templar crosses. Um, maybe this was a big Templar area. Maybe there's still Templars living here. Secret. Maybe the Templar treasure's in this very town. I'm not sure. That would be cool. It would be really well hidden if it was Imagine here. If we found it. Whew. There's or the Storkity McStorkingtons. Or, or the Storky. McStorkington or Jr. Mc and Storky. family. So we're going to stop at the Maison Cowboy. So I think this is our first real empanada of the trip. Empanada in Galicia is a big deal. <laughs> I think this is our first one here. It's a chorizo empanada that the lady made, makes herself, and she it's recommended it to us. Amazing. Is it amazing? This, this place has the atmosphere that we love in the places we stop on the Camino. I just love how old it is in here. They did a great job with this place. And that lady can cook. That was good. All right, off we go. Wow, while we were in there, the sun came out. Caught up with a lot of people here. We see a little town up ahead. I'm guessing that will be our next stop. Frankly, we're lucky we haven't been rained on yet. So we've gone 17.4 from Astorga and the climb has started. This is the best stretch we've had in 10 days. 
There's no way to describe us right now except giddy. We're thrilled. We've been walking on a path for at least 10 days. Today, we're walking on a trail. Or at least right now we are. This is for hikers. It's lovely. And look, long ways along this path, people have made wooden crosses and stuck them in this fence to cheer us on. I see some rosaries around the crosses. It's a beautiful old church we're passing. The town we're approaching is Rabanal del Camino. So we decided to stop in Rabanal and have some lunch. So we're just having, always having some pasta, I'm having some calamari. We are in Rabanal and it is a beautiful town. We went ahead and ate lunch in Rabanal because there was no reason not to. Oh, you are beautiful. You're cat number 50 of the trip. This is a really beautiful road. Rabanal del Camino. That cat's kind of relaxed. Having a little cat now. Yeah. While we were in Rabanal having lunch, winter showed up. Now it's cold and windy. And rainy. And sprinkling. So, uh, yep, we got five left. We're gonna try to keep ourselves warm by walking fast. So it's 1.51 in the afternoon. We left Rabanal a couple kilometers ago. And we were just noticing that we are now the only people on the path. Seems like pretty much everybody stopped there. This afternoon's been our first real slaty section. There were sections on the Primitivo like this. I don't know if they had as many flies as this section. Just got our first view of Fronte Bedon. That's where we'll be staying. Looks really nice from here. I noticed that today we've transitioned from red tile roofs to slate roofs. And we see why there's a lot of slate here. It's starting to sprinkle. But we can see our destination. The towns today have been the most consistently beautiful of any day since the Basque country, I would say. It might be a matter of style, but we liked that style, and we like this style. So it looks like there's quite a few places to stay in Ponce Vedon. We heard that, it, you, as of this morning, there was nothing to be had here. We've had our reservation for months, so we're all good. But, uh, all the last minute reservation folks, which is a lot of people, if they didn't call ahead a few days ago to get something here, then they're staying either in the town before or the town after or somewhere else because I don't think you're gonna walk in here and get a bed. Kind of one of those dream Camino towns right here. Ponce Bedon. I see our place up there, El Trasgu de Fonso Bedon. I see our place. It's got it all. Rooms, bar, cafe, tienda, shop. It started pouring down rain right after we got to Fonso Bedon. And it rained all night, so we really didn't get a lot of good pictures of the town or our hotel, but this is a great town. We ended up having dinner at a table next to the Spanish ladies that we met earlier in the day. 
that we're only doing parts of the Camino at once. And then later in the evening, we saw a huge family of cats. I like the gray and white one. It's a gorilla adventure. You can see our progress after 22 days of walking, looking at the blue line across the center of this map. While we still don't have a real answer to our question, we might have an idea of why this day was so special. The path was nice all day, but it did take some effort to navigate in areas. The weather was cool and crisp, though the darker clouds worried us from time to time. We passed through no famed towns and did not walk with any friends. Yet somehow, almost everyone thinks this is one of the best days on the entire Camino. And we agree. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.